Hi guys, tonight we will build together the virtual JVE emulator. So it's a virtual emulator for the JV8080 and by Julio Zauza and also other collaborators. And tonight we're going to build it from scratch. So first of all, I have created a couple of folders, one for the juice and you will need to download juice. Don't worry, every link and every comment is down in the description. So you simply download the juice application and it's a simple zip and you expand it. And then you have created another folder for the JV880. It's already busy. So let me, let me delete everything now because I'm going to recreate it again and I've, I've already tested a couple of times. So I have a couple of folders here. This is the folder where we are going to put our virtual JV. So first of all, you need to open that folder and to open terminal. We are working on Mac at this time. On, on Windows will be a little bit similar. So I'm op opening a new terminal in this folder. Let me put the text bigger. Yeah. And then we'll need a couple of sources. So you have here the juice framework. So it, this is easy. You simply go here to re releases and you download your Mac release here. And then you simply expand it. And then we're going to use this version, this fork by Python Blue, which actually is a new collaborator to the project. So it's probably working on, on the edit part of the project and then probably the project will mean merge with the original project. So I'm, I will be using this because it's, uh, at least at the moment, it's a little bit ahead of the original uh, project by Julio Zauza. And yeah, probably in the future they will be merged together so you can use also the project by Julio. So first of all, we need to download the Git content and you simply need to type Git clone and then the path to the GitHub repository again look in the description so I'm just cloning project into my JV884 and then it's done and basically it will carry all the structure with all the sources and also the juicer the juicer file so you can open it in producer so you can either click on right click and open or you can go to the juice folder where you have up, up, downloaded the juice and you open the producer here and then we need to open the existing project so you go here and you click on existing open existing project and you open the project that you have just downloaded so let's go back to my uh, USB drive here to the virtual JV to JV 880 to the project and open in JV 880 juicer let's open it then if you're on Mac you will probably need to adjust some of the path to the juice. You see here the path for the modules from some of the modules is not correct, at least on my Mac. So I just need to adjust the settings and to point to the correct folder, which basically is juice, juice, and then you have the modules here. So let's do it. So we need, simply need to get the correct folder, the correct path. I don't know why. So let's select juice, juice, and modules. And then it's a little bit tiring and boring, but you need to copy and paste this path all to all the other path. Of course, we need the correct path for the Xcode for macOS project. Actually, I don't need now the folder for iOS because I'm not compiling and not building the prog the project for iOS just for macOS. So yes, just a little bit of copy and pasting. So now everything should be okay. And now we can export it using Xcode. Yeah, of course you will need to have Xcode installed. It's a free application on the Mac App Store and you can download it. So I'm simply exporting it. And hopefully if everything goes right, we will have the first build on the bug in the bug configuration. So let's click here to export it. This will open Xcode. Yeah, here we are in Xcode. And then we need to build the, the project. So let's click on the little triangle here to build it. Then you need to wait, yeah, some minutes or some seconds. Everything seems to be successful. So hopefully the 
project should start now. So once you have compiled everything using Xcode, so this will create the Xcode component, you need to go back to your original folder so you can close producer at the moment. So we go back, you see here we have a build and we have a debug and we have J J880 here and some component and some stuff here. We need to go to the build um, to the build folder. So we simply can go back to the terminal and type cd jv 880 juice. So let's go back to the terminal now. So we are going into the folder and then we go into the build by typing cd build. So we are now in the build directory so we are now basically here and then we need to download producer so this will probably package some needed file from producer and this file is here but before opening it and launching the shell uh, shell parameter we probably need to give permission to execute because otherwise you will not be able to execute so you will need to write something like this so chmod plus x download producer dot sh this will allow the system to execute this and then we're actually going to execute it so by simply typing this command we're going to launch the command shell this will take just uh, a few seconds uh, at the end it's giving me an error because it says it cannot find zip file directory or in one of juice zip or juice zip but doesn't seem to be a huge problem because if you now go back to the build we have a new folder here called bin and we have the juice.zip file so basically this is everything i think uh, the system needs and the, the build uh, project needs to, to build the, the, the plugin so we now need to execute the build sx command so again it's in this directory here so we need to execute this one but before executing it we need to make sure that they can be executed so again we are executing a ch mode plus x build osx.sh this will give permission to execute and then we're actually going to execute the final build operation by simply typing the build osx.sh this is going to take a few moments probably maybe one or two minutes so i will speed up the video and let's see what happens at the end 20 minutes later okay so after a few minutes you should see the build succeed the message hopefully so that means of course <laughs> the build has been completed successfully so we can close the terminal now and we can go back to our folder so we go again to the original folder where we put the jv880 go back to jv880 juice go to builds go to mac os x go to build and then you should find a folder name release and this is the release version so the, the compiled version for the uh, for the plugin actually this is the standalone version then we also have the components so for audio unit and then the vs3 um, file here so let me just try and try to open the jv880 standalone uh, project of course you will need to put the roms in the correct folders i'm not again i'm not giving you instruction on how to build and how to find the how to find the firmware and how to find the roms but if you go on my website you can find some additional info on how to do that again there's a link in the description so let's try to open the package now open the final file and hopefully everything should work as expected yeah so we have now here the interface and we have all the roms loaded here so i can go to any rom let's take this one i have already set up the media sign, sign so everything should work as expected now yeah and a cool feature because we are working on a new version just just came out yesterday or two days ago we can now edit most of the tone parameter not every everything is already uh, available but you have some common 
uh, settings so, such as the reverb type, the curves type, and the delay, and oh, sorry, the analog feel here. There's no actually, actually, there's no delay. But you can also uh, modify the tones, the original tones that uh, created the, the patch. So if I want to move something from this patch, so this is tone number one. So probably if I move something, the, yeah, you see, I'm changing. I removed that loop. Probably was in, on tone two, tone three. Let's do something random. So we still have the scratch base that's probably here yeah we have no more that base okay so you can edit most of the parameter the original parameter of the original jv880 so we can now start also building and creating an editor probably or maybe they will add a new and better interface so at the moment you only have the parameters here you have to dial in uh, values manually on to or to move uh, these sliders, but probably in the future they will add some kind of slider or interface. So that's it for tonight. Let me see. Let me hear if you if you compiled the, the plugin successfully or not. If a problem, I will try to uh, to support you. But I'm gonna know this. I don't think I will have so much time. So see you in a future video. Bye bye. If you want, you can look up here where you have the complete video on the JV editor. Bye bye.